All right, guys, welcome back to another, well, episode 93 of my progress game. Uh, we're fairly racking up the episodes pretty quickly. And I was just standing here. This is the skele uh, the skele spawner, zombie spawner, which is just above this garden area of mine. And I was looking at it thinking, what on earth could we do with this? And then I was looking at the ground and I was thinking about Mossy and then I remembered we found that dungeon the other day in the sand and I didn't take the Mossy. I am so gutted. I'm, I might just go back and get the the, the stuff. I can't exactly remember where it is but hopefully I could because uh, it was on the way back I'm pretty sure. Hopefully I can find it. Uh, so I think I'll go back some, at some point and get the Mossy from that. Um, but anyway this is we are at the zombie spawner. We found this way back in episode 1. Can you remember it? Enter, do a scene from episode 1. Now, flashback. It's really dark. Even with my brightness up full, I still can't see what the heck is beyond here. Uh oh. Oh, flip, is that what I think it is? I didn't place that cobble. It's a spawner. Jeez, what the heck? That's insane. There's a spawner in this hill. Whoa. So this has been in the world for the whole time for 93 episodes. Or we've known it for 93 episodes. And indeed that's about 6 months I think. Since I started this world. 6 months, 7 months. This is quite a long time. So I, think, I finally think it's time we did something with it. Question is what? Um... In fact, it's it's in quite an awkward place, but I think we could get something out of it. Um, of course, I'm not entirely sure what that might be, but we can figure something out. Obviously, XP farms are not part of the game just yet. Um, having said that, they will be, so we could prepare for XP farms by turning this into one. Uh, it does supply feathers, which don't actually do much at this point in time. Um, except for arrows. I think arrows is really the only thing feathers can be used for. So we could always turn it into a, a feather farm. That would have some use. Um, that's a pos possibility. <coughs> or I was thinking something along the lines of we could have like... We could transport the mobs somewhere and we could fight them in some sort of an arena. Which sounds really cool. But I'm not sure how practical it is. I'm not sure, well, for starters, where the arena would go. Maybe, maybe over here. Yeah, maybe over here. Maybe that one, it's not such a bad idea. Um, or how thick is this mountain? Because we might be able to get them going that way. I think if we dig, let's dig out the side of the mountain and see how if we can make it all the way through. And when I say arena, I don't mean a massive thing. I mean, I want to make it look good or reasonably impressive. I don't want it to be as massive as the one I did in one of my other single player worlds, which you can, if you look at various first videos on my channel, you'll see it. It's called First World. That is the, the world. So if you look at First World Tour videos, you'll see images of this huge arena that took me four months to build. I'm not building that. I think that arena would take me about four years to build in Alpha Minecraft. Never mind four months. Okay. Oh, well, I just ate the food. That's why I don't carry food in my hotbar normally. Right. So this is where we get to. That is a fairly long way. Um, unless... Unless we somehow incorporate the arena into this bit. And now the arena is just simply me these zombies. So, I mean, I think it could be a fun idea. Let's, um... Oh, these leaves are going to decay for crying out loud. Well, you know, it's only like seven episodes until we switch. So, I'm going to, uh... Possibly just leave the, leave the leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna, the leaves will be left. Oh, let's turn the render distance up slightly to short. So 
So yeah, my idea is to build the arena, but like kind of incorporate it into the mountainside, so like build it into the mountain, so the zombies don't have to come as far. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this and that, but we can we can have a think about it. Also, I just want to mention one thing. Um, my frame rate currently is seven ten, so it's between seven and ten. We'll just say uh, that is pretty tripe. They did say there was performance updates coming, so hopefully, hopefully that'll um, improve things a lot, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to see, because I remember I had problems recording Minecraft 1.4, I think it was. Uh, however, the beta, the, the demo was fine. I'm not sure what the deal with that was. Maybe it's just because this world's huge now, it's over 5 megabytes, so uh, hopefully, hopefully things will be alright. Uh, but so that's my plan. I'm just going to have a think about this, look for inspiration, and I'll get back to you shortly. Alright guys, uh, I'm back. That was, I know that was... Uh, I know I'm not where I should be. I actually went to um, get the mossy from the dungeon, which is just over there. And a few blocks from it, well, about 50 blocks from it, I found this. The first infinite lava pool. Not infinite lava pool. Why did I say that? This is not an infinite lava pool. This is... Uh, a randomly generated lava pool, one that I don't think I've showed off before, so... Well, I didn't, I didn't see it last time to show off, so... This is the first one of the new patch, so that is pretty cool, yeah. Um, but yeah, this has been quite a long time for me, like, it took me quite a while to get back here, because, well, I'd originally, I, I didn't know where it was. To be fair, I thought I'd be lost for longer than I was. Um, but otherwise, it was fine, and I managed to get 62 mossy. Um, what I'm going to do with it, I'm not entirely sure. I might decorate the well a bit, because the well's not really, you know, it's just got mossy, that's, oh look, there's another one over there flipping heck, they're all over the place <clears throat> it's a lot easier, I guess, to see them at night there's a cave in there, anyway, sorry, we did exploring last today, uh, last episode, or last few episodes anyway so, unless I see any more in, uh, randomly spawned lava pools I will probably cut to the <clears throat> the base and we're back at the spawner here um, I was having a look at the ceiling here and there's a few blocks that I wish to get rid of would like to get rid of but I think overall we're just going to leave leave the roof as it is I mean I might get rid of one or two dirt blocks like that dirt block over there um, but overall I think I'm just going to leave it as it is um, so here we've got the uh, zombie spawner and I think we don't need maximum, I don't think we're going to need maximum spawning space so given that the wall is right here we're just going to fill in oh, the blocks here like so so that those those blocks are going to get uh, are going to these blocks will cover the spawner the spawning area, these will be one of the walls of the spawning area and that'll be fine actually I might want to get rid of that one um, see so I'm just gonna completely fill this in it's very laggy I've again I don't know why I don't want tiny I'm pretty sure, okay I want short maybe that'll help mildly, it helps mildly uh, let's see, seven, six, there we go. There we go, okay. Um, so I'll just finish off. Finish off this wall bit. And then, I don't think, I think we're going to get the, spot, uh, the zombies to drop below the, uh, below the spawning area. Uh, sorry, below this, this, yeah, below the spawning area. Because... Uh, normally in a mob system, you you would have the the floor at that level, like on top of that block. You'd have them them up here, the water running on this level. But I think we're going to take it down a bit, and this is due to the fact that uh, zombies can get stuck on the water here. So, <coughs> excuse me. In fact, let's put that there. Dive it. I do have another stack of smooth stone. Yes. So the water will go here and will flow. Hmm. I'm wondering if we uh, should we get it to flow into a single tunnel or multiple ones because uh, 
like my aim of this is to have not the, not the, have the zombies come out of different different exits here as we go to fight them. Um, I also plan on storing them somehow as well, but that's going to be hard without pistons, but that's part of the fun of it. Uh, let me think. Will I get wet my blade? I proved more challenging than I thought. Um, hey, that's what this path could go to as well, the arena. <laughs> uh, that's forward thinking though. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but it's an idea anyway. Give me a... Oh, this is a very this is a very slow series. <laughs> I've only just um, realised that I'm about ten minutes into the episode, all over that, given the fact that I've had the flashback as well. So I think I'm going to end it there. I think by the next episode I will have this uh, this spawner spawning room, sorry, sorted. Um, we've lost about one, maybe two blocks on this side. Uh, actually, that's one thing I wanted to test. We'll test it next episode. But we'll test if we've got no lights on this side, will zombies spawn and fall? Because if they do, then I'm in trouble. I'm going to have to think of something else. But other than that, things should be alright. Uh, I, will, I will be back next time.